Hi, I'm Jennifer, and I want to tell you about this plant called Purple Dead Nettle. It is popping up all over the place. Here it is by a fence. You can see it along the side of the road and along the path. And one thing for sure, this plant is plentiful. Well, why do they call it Purple Dead Nettle? I don't really know, but I can guess, and I'll tell you about that later. But first, I want to tell you how to identify the plant. One, as you can guess, it has purple flowers, but the flowers are very unique to the mint family. It is a tuliped flower. It means it has a, a, fl um, a flower that has a lip above and a lip below. It's also typical of the mint family in that it has a square stem. If you twirl it like this, it'll be very, it's square. And the other thing, it has opposite leaves. It has one leaf on one side, directly opposite another leaf. How you can tell this plant specifically is purple dead nettle is you feel it. It has very um, hairy type of um, leaves. And another sure way is to smell it. It smells to me like dirt. That's why I think it's called purple dead nettle. Honestly, don't really like the taste. You can eat this raw if you want. Most people will cook it, put it with, um, uh, they make a pots herd and they put it with garlic and onion and olive oil. Um, sometimes people put a little bit of it with a pesto mix. And I think the, the reason why is it's plentiful, it's free, and it's full of nutrition and iron. So hey, be brave, go try some purple dead nettle, uh, take a nibble, see if you like it, you just may. Signing out, Zen Jen Skin.